Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio and the Freemasons. Um, I don't know if you remember the golden age of Twitter, but uh, even just a few years back, when you posted up a YouTube URL, you would get an embedded player on uh, phone and mobile devices feeds. Um, that's all gone now, but let me show you right now how to post 30 seconds of professionally produced video onto your Twitter timeline absolutely free. Okay, so here's a project that I'm working on inside Adobe's Premiere Pro. It's a short uh, promo video that I want to use on Twitter for a, one of our brand new products, which is uh, the Zeus effects pack. I'll just play you a short snippet. So as you can see, this isn't just phone grab stuff. This is proper professionally produced video that I want to get onto our Twitter feed. Now, one very important thing is that you set the maximum time to somewhere over 30 seconds, so like 31 seconds or 32 seconds, and then make sure that your content kind of finishes somewhere around 29 seconds, but certainly before 30. So you've got an area of fade or black just before 30 seconds. Now we've got to export this out into a format that the phone can actually read. So I'm going to come up to Premiere's menus. We're going to go to the media export. The best codec for an iPhone or an iPad is H.264, so I'm just going to select that at the top here. And then click and hold on the preset menu. And we want this one here. It's Apple TV, iPad, iPhone 4 and newer, 720p, 29.97 frame rate. Now this will produce a video that's very similar to the video that's created within the phone. Um, I want mine to be at maximum quality, so I'm just going to hit these extra two checkboxes, render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. Now, because we're only exporting about 32 seconds or 30 seconds worth of video, it's not gonna be an enormous file size. And here it's estimating to be only eight meg, perfect. So now let's select the output and export. Now let's have a look at doing exactly the same thing inside Final Cut Pro X. I've got a 31 second timeline here and the main content ends at about 28 or 29 seconds. It will become perfectly apparent why we're actually doing this once we get into the Twitter app. Now, the great thing about uh, Final Cut Pro X is that it has built-in sharing presets uh, for Apple devices. So if I click on the share button here and go to Apple devices 720p, call it whatever we want, check the settings and just hit share. Give it a location and off it goes. Now, this next bit is actually dead simple. I'm just going to open iPhoto. Um, I've got three videos down here on the left-hand side, sorry, the right-hand side of my desktop that I actually want to import into the phone. I'm on the Albums tab of iPhoto, and I'm just going to drag all the videos together onto this blank section underneath the word Albums. Now, this will start to import and create a new album. We're going to rename that album uh, Twitter Promo Vids. So all three videos are now actually inside of iPhoto. So let's just have a quick look at one. Yeah, playing back perfectly. Let's check our Zeus one. Okay, now onto the next step, and we're actually going to synchronize these into the phone. So as always, connect the phone into the computer. It has to be the computer that is already seen and is synchronized uh, with the iPhone, otherwise it just won't work. Um, iPhoto will probably pop up, just quit it. To complete the transfer onto the phone, we're going to use iTunes. Now, if your iPhone has stuff it needs to transfer back into iTunes and synchronization and backups that it needs to do, let all of that happen first. It's just a good code of practice. I'm going to click on the iPhone icon just at the top left here, and this will show me the synchronization options for the actual iPhone. Uh, click on the photo tab here on the left. We want to copy the photos from iPhone from iPhoto, the app, and we actually want just uh, selected albums, events, and faces. Then I'm going to click on Twitter promo vids, our new album that we just created, and hit apply. Now this will then start to synchronize and send the videos actually into the phone. And bearing in mind that we've rendered them in a format that the iPhone will recognize and be able to play back. Let's just check everything's actually in the phone. Open the photo app and click on the album icon on the bottom right. Scroll down and we should see, there it is, our Twitter promo videos album. Let's just check one of them plays. So now let's tweet our 30 second video. I'm going to open the Twitter app. I'm on the Freemasons music page here and let's compose a new tweet. 
So right in the text is normal, bearing in mind that it's impossible to turn the uh, video into a clickable URL. So make sure that you include any URL you're trying to promote. And to add the video, click on the camera icon that's just above the keypad. Now this will take you into some of the filing system and you want to click on the word album here on the top left. Now scroll down through the albums and you should find videos and click on the video you want to tweet. The Twitter app will only allow you to tweet 30 seconds of video. And if you constantly tweet the same video with the same file name, Twitter may not actually allow it to be posted. So using the trim selector at the bottom and always making sure that you're up against the very first frame of the video, select 29 to 30 seconds of video. When you're finished, press the trim button at the top and this will actually create a brand new video in your phone with its own unique file name. And then when you hit the tweet button here, it will start to send it. Here's an example of all this in action on the Freemasons Music timeline. Here's a video I posted the other week. It looks great on the timeline as it's already playing, but it's silent until I click it. Now, social media is always changing, so I'm sure this is all going to get shut down at some point. But for now, let's post up as much engaging video content as we can and keep our Twitter timelines a darn sight more interesting. Any questions about the procedure, come and find us at the Freemasons Music uh, Twitter feed. And don't forget to check out the F9 Audio label page at loopmasters.com. Loopmasters.